Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be the weekly review of the Power Profit Scan newsletter that comes with uh, my Clay Trader subscription service. Many times this gets lost in the shuffle because people are talking about and you know just the live trading chat room gets a lot more of the talk. And then this gets, you know, people aren't even aware that this comes with the exact same service, uh, but it does. So, you know, just want to kind of go over it to not only show how it works, but just make people aware of it. And then also from feedback, I've got members of the service. They actually enjoy and find these videos helpful. So here we are. A couple of disclaimers real quick. First disclaimer, am I trying to come across? Am I trying to imply that every single alert that I send out in these scans is a winner? Absolutely not. Yes, we're gonna look at winners here, but if you've watched past videos in the series, you've seen me show uh, losing examples too. But the main kind of general learning principle that I'm hoping to establish here is that lo losers happen, sure, but that's why risk management, risk control is so important because winners also happen. And when you have winners that happen, and assuming you have that risk component of your strategy you know, in place, then sure, losses happen, but when the wins do occur, they're gonna keep your account going in the, you know, proper direction. So as long as you're keeping the hole manageable and not finding yourself in a massive hole because you broke risk rules or things like that, then yeah, winners happen and they will help you out from an overall chart perspective and overall account perspective. And then the other uh, quick disclaimer, yes, I'm going to be going back several weeks. The reason for that is twofold. First, it just has allowed the chart enough time to develop. And second, it's fair to paying members. Uh, it would not be fair if people are paying and then all of a sudden a week later, hey, look, there's everything that I had to pay for to get access to. By doing it this way, um, you know, it just keeps things fair to those paying members. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna get into it. And the first batch we're looking at for this week is gonna be down here for the week of 8, 13, 18. So let's get to it. The first setup uh, that we'll take a look at, and that was alerted, uh, was put into uh, what I named the breakout coming uh, category, and it was ticker symbol LUV Southwest Airlines. And you can see the overall pattern right here, and I just pointed out that the key break was essentially right here around the 59.35-ish area. So let's see how this one all played out. Now, just for a little context, the newsletter goes out on the weekend. So this is what the chart looked like going into the week. And the next candle you see will be from uh, Monday of that week. So let's see how this unfolded. Next, they actually went up there, got rejected from that resistance level once again. Broke above it, pulled back a little bit, but it's not like on the pullback it was anything drastic. And then from there, came to life. If you did miss that, you can see right there, classic example of a resistance turning into a support. So the price actually pulled back right there, pulled back again. So again, just a classic back test. And after the back test, there it went just like that. Pulled back again, but building those higher bases and continued on up. And you can see so far has gone as much as 6.57%. Please, let's keep things in mind. Let's keep things, uh, Reality check, 6.5% is nothing huge. We'll get to some bigger percentages later. But keep in mind, this is a $60 stock and one with high liquidity, meaning you could easily have put in $500,000 and when it comes time to sell, you could have sold $500,000. So I'll say that again. You could have put in $500,000 and no problem at all, you could have been able to sell. Whereas if you're doing some sort of little penny stock, sure you can buy $500,000. I mean, you'll probably cause a massive run when you do it, but then when you try to sell, Good luck trying to sell that without crashing the entire stock. So yeah, I get it, the percentage isn't huge, but for a big board in this amount of time, that's a good solid amount. And the analogy that I always use is, you know, given this all occurred in about two to three weeks, I'd encourage you to walk into your local bank and say, excuse me, I would like 6.57% on my money in the next three weeks. And take your, take your phone and record the reaction because they're gonna think you're a lunatic. So sure, percentage not big, but from a big board perspective and knowing that the liquidity is there, 6.57%, uh, very, very happy with how this one has turned out so far. I mean, this thing is, is still trending, it's still putting in higher lows, so maybe it has more to it. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if this one can keep on moving, but definitely a nice overall movement thus far. The next alert was in the trend trading category and uh, ticker symbol CX. And I'm actually really excited about this one. Uh, for you members that are also a member of Clay Trader University, I'm just talking to you right now. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about this one uh, this Tuesday and we're gonna break down exactly, this should mean something to you as Clay Trader University students, self or trade plans or self-correcting. And they're, they're, they're gonna 
they're going to form themselves assuming you go through the proper steps. And this is an absolutely perfect example of that. So um, like I said, I'm going to be going over that live on Tuesday uh, as part of the webinar. Again, just Clay Trader University. I mean, you're welcome to join Clay Trader University, but don't be sending me, how do I get on this webinar? You have to be a member of that. Um, it's not like it's an open webinar or anything like that. And I just, again, bring that up, not as a sales pitch, but just because I know a lot of members do watch these videos. So I guess I'm trying to try something new and, and communicating to them in real time in a sense. So CX was a ticker and this was all about trend trading. Here's a chart once again, uh, going into the new week. And we'll kind of go through things here. And the price did indeed fall down through the trend line, but uh, you know, this is what makes things very, very interesting from uh, you know trade plans or self-correcting type dynamic. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about within uh, the, the live webinar on Tuesday for you, uh, for you members. But in all actuality, and maybe you're, you're maybe, um, you know, it's not like, I'm not saying that nobody else could have benefited from it. I'm just saying that I get it. It looks pretty rough the way it broke down through the tread line, but it didn't collapse. And then you can see things ultimately turned around. And if you are going about things in a logical fashion and, you know, viewing the chart the way it should be viewed, then it would be very, very rational to have been able to actually get a really nice entry point in this one on that little tread line break there. Um, and, you know, as you'll see now, the price heading back upward. So, how could, you know, what, what were all these steps and all that? Again, that's what I'll be watching or going over on Tuesday. Uh, but you can see that overall, the trend line break was essentially just a head fake because then the trend continued on up and ultimately yielded 12% before pulling back and it's now making its way back upwards. But a very nice 12% move, um, you know, that in all actuality was uh, quite realistic. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to Tuesday and going through that. Another part of the newsletter itself is actually, uh, it pertains to a couple of the courses that I offer and I'll just throw, I'll do some scans and throw out some ticker symbols uh, that pertain to that course. But then of course it's up to the person to analyze the chart and implement the strategy that is being taught. So there aren't any images of charts here, just the ticker symbols, but again, um, for these people, keep in mind the context, they've gone through the course and all they need is a ticker. I mean, I guess they don't even really need the ticker symbol because they know how to scan for them too. But this is kind of just uh, them helping them out or me helping them out with some, some tickers to keep an eye on. So in this case, we're gonna look at TXMD. And just for that whole risk control perspective, um, we'll just assume that uh, BABA and then DPLO were losers on the week. Uh, I know for sure this one was definitely just a no play, but we'll assume that you know both of these were controlled losses and this will really help illustrate why you gotta keep losses controlled and disciplined because all it takes is one and you can wipe away multiple losses. Again, this is what the chart looked like when I sent uh, things out. So let's just see how the strategy played out. Got some life there, consolidate a little bit, consolidated some more, but putting in those higher bases. And you can see right there, got the big follow through and then continued on up just like that. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful trade for an overall move of 22.4%. So that's you know the whole idea here is even if those other two were, were uh, modest losers, um, and I, well, let's just say each were you know 10%. Well, then you'd still come out ahead 2.4%. Now, I, I would say 10 is probably a little too aggressive, but you get the general idea that I'm trying to make. So a, a, just a great, great move there um, from the, the trampoline trade strategy. And again, that was right out of the newsletter. Just um, now you would need the course in order to implement everything else. Uh, but point is, there was that was just there sitting there uh, for the members and people that have taken that class. The final one we're looking at is AWX. And this is what I just threw into what I call, you know, a gap close category here. And uh, the, the obviously the price had already made a big move. So you knew the potential was there to move. Things had pulled back a little bit and then all of a sudden big volume, but you got kind of a rough candle, which brought up the question, you know, is, is a pullback coming? Is this gap gonna, you know, potentially close? And remember supports, resistance levels are not exact specific prices. There is a range element associated with it, but you'll see this kind of has basically two opportunities to play that whole quote unquote range element. So let's see how this one played out. So let's see how the week started to play out on that Monday, the pullback right there. And we'll, we'll, we'll just pretend that for whatever reason, you didn't quite get that entry point, but you're thinking, okay, well, you know, I missed it, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. So things pop and then, you know, you're still, and then right there, once again, uh, you know, did the price hit that green line exactly? No, but again, range element. I think we can all agree that when you go back through the history of the chart, 
the price was in that general area, general area, and maybe that's a stretch right there. But you know, definitely acted as support a whole bunch of times here. So like I said, two opportunities, both here and here, to take advantage of this general area. And you know, I, I'll admit some people maybe didn't get filled, maybe they were a couple pennies off. Uh, but again, it was certainly, I think we'd all agree within that general vicinity. So let's see how things played out from that second pullback. And a little bit of patience was required. But ultimately, that move right there, I, I realize it doesn't seem like that it moved that much, but given the price range, 52.8%. Am I saying anybody made 52.8%? I'm not. But even if you played that half right, let's say you, you pulled 25% from it, well, there you go. The other thing to throw to keep out there is this is basically, um, I don't want to say the exact opposite of LUV, but this was a low volume stock. So it's not like you could necessarily throw $500,000 into this one and then easily be able to sell $500,000 worth of stock. Um, I'm, you still would be able to because this did have enough liquidity. Again, it's not like it's some little uh, penny stock, but th this is kind of what you know I'm differentiating. And sure, I get it, the percentage is much bigger. Um, but liquidity is, is, is different than what LUV was. So you always got, it's kind of a yin and yang give and take, but anyway, you slice it still a huge move and a great move. Um, and, uh, a little deceiving given, uh, that it, you know, space wise, it doesn't look like it, it made that much of a jump, but yeah, when you run the numbers from, uh, you know, three, uh, 60 ish up to, uh, you know, over, uh, you know, $5, you know, that's going to add up the percentages. So a, a great one and an overall, a great week. And then finally, real quick, if you are interested in joining the service, just head to claytrader.com forward slash inner circle, or just go to the homepage and up at the top, you'll see a little uh, area for inner circle and you can click on that and you can join. The cost is $99 per year, not per quarter, not per month, per year. And when you break that down, so pull out the calculator, it comes out to $1.90 per week. So if you can sacrifice a cup of coffee, per week, then you can afford to join the membership. And like I said, not only do you get the power profit scans, but you get the, the more talked about live trading chat room, and then you get these other dynamics. It does come with a mobile app, so you can you know keep in touch and uh, you know be in tune with everything, uh, no matter where you are. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And as I say, and I always say, is it worth it? Um, it is, and I am more than confident that over the time span of 12 months, you'll get at least $99 worth of value. So check it out. If you have any questions, by all means, leave those in the comments section down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you.